Where should I begin? I guess from the beginning. This is one of these films that you hear about way before you see it. The name comes out here and there. I was already familiar with famous lines such as I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse, but nothing could really prepare me for the moment when I actually sat and watched it for the first time. I was a teenager, probably way too young, it was randomly shown on TV and I was hooked from the first moment. By the time Michael got off his seat at that famous restaurant scene, I was already off my seat with my heart racing. Keep in mind, I was still technically a kid. I didn't really know who Marlon Brando is, or Al Pacino, or James Caan, or Robert Duvall. I just knew that I'm watching something amazing that didn't feel like a performance. It felt very real. I was invested till the very end. And when it did end, I remember thinking, whoa, what was that? What did I just watch? Could it be that I just watched the best film ever? So this is what the term masterpiece means? I had so many questions. Director Francis Ford Coppola once said, it is a film about family. Watching it, you truly feel like you're part of the family. To me, there was something very familiar with the discipline, values, and honor. I guess in a way, the Godfather reminded me of my own father. To this day, every time I see Don Corleone, I think about my dad. Later on, when I was studying cinema, I learned about the different meanings behind it, which made me appreciate it even more and understand just how genius this film is. This is also one of the first films that I ever got on DVD, and no matter how many times I watch it, I can never get enough of it. When I'm on a flight or YouTube clips, I just never get tired. My only wish is if I could go back in time and experience it in the theater. So of course when I find out that as part of the 50th anniversary of The Godfather, there will be a special limited 35mm screening on the big screen, a once in a lifetime opportunity, you already know that I had to be there. It is an offer that I just couldn't refuse. I've never booked a movie ticket so fast in my life. Yeah, needless to say, I was excited. <sighs> See you tomorrow on the big screen. Good morning, everybody. Today is the day. All right, let's grab something on the way. Leave the gun, take the banana. Yeah, you gotta make a quick stop at the public restroom. I mean, Publix, sorry. Turn left, then your destination will be on the right. All right, we made it. Get it, made. Okay, so we still have about two hours till the movie actually starts. So I say, let's go grab something to eat in a very appropriate place. Yeah, that's more like it. I told you it would be appropriate. There you go, we got it. That makes sense. That's really funny. I'm so excited. Here we go. I can't believe that I'm here. So yes, I watched The Godfather on the big screen in a movie theater and not just any theater, it was the Plaza Theater which is the oldest operating movie theater in Atlanta, Georgia. That's right, I drove two states to watch a movie. <laughs> you can probably hear that I kind of lost my voice. I just now got home and I immediately start writing you know, all of the things that I want to say before I forget. Um, so you're going to see me looking at the screen a lot. You know, watching it on 35 millimeters in a theater from the 30s. It's really the closest you can get to a time machine. And uh, I gotta tell you, probably one of the best movie theater experiences I've ever had, if not the best. How do I know? Because I remember all of them. That's right, I even got a list of every single film I've ever watched in the theater. I know what you're thinking. 
you're absolutely right i'm crazy so originally this video was supposed to be kind of like a regular normal uh, movie review or a video essay but there's really nothing regular or normal about this film and uh, you know watching it on a big screen is is an experience of its own and uh, i just had to share it so let's do it the godfather released in 1972 by paramount pictures directed by francis ford coppola Starring Marlon Brando, Al Pacino, James Caan, Robert Duvall, Diane Keaton, and many, many, many more. Let's start with the fact that the theater was almost sold out, so it was pretty full with people of all ages. As I was sitting there, you suddenly realize that no matter how many times you watch this, uh, by yourself, with family, friends, you've never watched it with so many people, you know, together in one place. It adds an entire new experience. It's sure nice to see that I'm not the only one obsessed with this creation. It also made me realize that this is the first time I'm watching a movie from, you know, 50 years ago on the big screen in 35 millimeters in an old theater. It kind of gives you an idea of uh, the movie experience back in the day. You know, nowadays we live in a kind of like an instant generation era when everything expected to be delivered fast and... Uh, this movie takes its time. <laughs> it's a long movie, slow pace, and um, I appreciate the fact that it takes the time to paint a detailed picture. It's just really something that you gotta commit. But uh, luckily, it's so well made that it grows on you fast. It's so packed with scenes. Every time you watch it, it's kind of like watching it for the first time because it's so rich with story and characters. Okay, let's dive in. So let's talk about the technical stuff. Uh, because it's also a very different experience visually. Yes, the cinematography is amazing. You know, the camera work is brilliant. Uh, the color use, the lighting, everything is great. But the big screen makes you appreciate it a hundred times more. Because you notice certain things and details that you may not have caught or paid too much attention to when watching it on a smaller screen like a TV or a computer. For example, this white shot right here. If you didn't know, the Statue of Liberty is hiding right there in the distance. Now, I knew that. I watched it a million times. But when you see it on the big screen, you realize just how it sticks out. Actually not hiding at all, but you can see it clearly as an obvious part of the frame, which makes the meaning of it, a symbolism of the American dream, much more powerful. Now, story-wise, the film is notorious for manipulating the audience uh, to cheer for the bad guy. Uh, it makes you care about the characters and root for them, even though you know they're gangsters. Which is the same process that Michael is going through. He's clearly aware that his family are doing bad things. And uh, he tells Kay at the beginning of the film, this is my family, not me. But, you know, eventually it's still his family. And when it's time to save or defend or protect the family, um, he does it even if it means that he's going to be part of the bad things. We, the audience, are experiencing the same moral questions and dilemmas. What would you do? And you can really sense the energy shifting in the theater throughout the movie, uh, from the happy beginning of the wedding scene with Vito all the way to the dark ending with Michael, which represent the change in the characters and the Corleone family. When Vito is the dawn, um, everything seems more optimistic, bright, warm. And the more the story progresses with Michael slowly taking over, the film gets colder and darker. Yes, it's long, but which part would you cut out? Every scene is necessary. And of course, the timeless soundtrack by Nino Rota and Carmen Coppola, the dad of Francis. And you can see him in the film too. In conclusion, I can't believe this is a film from 1972. It still holds up to this day everything still works you know the shocking parts are shocking you can hear the the crowd gasp uh, the funny parts are truly funny every joke lands uh, you can hear the entire theater laughing and of course uh, in the suspense scenes you can really feel the tension in the room this movie is so ahead of its time from the writing to the directing the visuals and of course the performances watching it with so many people felt like we're all going together on this thrilled long ride, as a true film watching experience should be. The movie does an amazing job sucking you into this family and you literally transform 
into this world and forget about your own life for three hours. And yes, when the movie was over, everybody was clapping and I just felt like I can die in peace. <laughs> That's it, I did my thing in this world. My film journey is complete. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. Thank you for watching and experiencing it with me. If you haven't watched The Godfather yet, one, I'm jealous, two, do yourself a favor and enjoy the ride. If you get a chance to watch it on a big screen or really any of your favorite movies on a big screen, don't think twice, just go see it. You will appreciate it much more. Remember, films, first and foremost, were made for the big screen. That's where they belong. So don't pass that chance, opportunity, something. Just do it, just do it. Go to the movies, support your local theaters, guys. All right, I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Mission accomplished.